my mother thinks it's a waste of money and so do my friends but I'm always saying like I could be like taking that money and pissing against the wall or doing drugs or something crazy like that. He was expecting to come in one day and you know they'll all be in a box on the, the lawn if you'll have decided that's enough. It's the stuff I'm obsessed about like you know and I, just, I love getting it, I love doing it and a lot of things I do is inspired by that. started collecting probably about my mid-twenties. I mean, I'd always been into video games up to that point, but in my mid-twenties, you know, with eBay was there and, you know, nostalgia kicked in and I was thinking, hey, you know, it'd be really cool to see the, the old Atari computer I had when I was a kid. It's always, I've always just been drawn towards video games and my parents always have hated them, especially my mother, and I think that might be uh, kind of <laughs> pushed me towards them more. Like, um, I never had a, didn't have a, like a games machine until I was like about seven. I know kids had it before that, but um, I had to kind of beg for one. And <laughs> Originally I wanted to get the collection we had when we were younger. I wanted to build that back up again. But then, as you can see, like, it's actually getting a lot bigger. If it, it, the game, the bug kind of catches you. You can end up spending an awful lot of money. There's uh, guys I know that buy arcade machines and arcade boards that can get a bit expensive. <laughs> a part of it is the fact that when I was a kid, I didn't have a huge video games collection. And maybe in a way I'm kind of compensating for that and saying, hey, well, you know, I can have one now, you know? It's kind of not a healthy thing to do. It can get out of hands. I'm kind of a bit of like a historian as well. I, I, I like reading about the history of video games and that's it, like that, that's another big thing about it is owning that piece of history. I see there's art appreciation, <laughs> really. You get them because it gives you back like nostalgia about how you played when you were growing up. Like when I got Streets of Rage 2, it just reminded me of playing with my brother when I was younger, like when I was seven or eight. And it's just, it's just, it's just a nice feeling to play it. Like, and we played it a few months ago then. The pair of us, he's 30 now and I'm 23 and it's still the same kind of feeling of enjoyment, you know. I just keep buying the ones I, I want. I see something weird. Um, I've been looking at, like there's always something else to collect. I know like, I have a lot of games, but like all of them are there to play. They're not there to be looked at. I'm really into getting it, you know, ripping it open carefully, you know, because it's going to go back in your collection and then playing it. You know, I'm all about playing the games, you know, it, it's as much about playing them as it is about actually owning them. I think it's not normal if you're going for like full collections and or uh, sealed collections where you're just going to look at them. I think these, I, I can understand people collecting games and playing them, but even I would would think it's not normal for people to be to be collecting these games just to look at them. But some of the games you do have, they're not fun to play, like, they're, just, they're rare and they're sought after, so that's why I have them. There's that little bit of extra kind of, uh, especially with a rare game, you know, you can say, if you're talking to someone about, they're talking about a game and you can say, well actually, you know, I have a Japanese copy of Alien Soldier on the Mega Drive, you know, there's that little bit of uh, envy in it, you know, to say, oh I have this really rare game, you know. It's great, like, you know, it's a... Uh... Especially when I got uh, the complete version of the Wily Wars, that was, uh, I was just so happy to have the manual like, and everything was complete in the box. It probably means nothing to like, most people, you know, but it's, just, it's, just, it's something sought after you want it, you know, like if, if you have it and other people don't, it just gives a value to the whole thing. I've made tons of friends from, you know, just uh, collecting games. And there's a load of guys, we meet up every couple of months for a few beers or whatever and, you know, show each other how bad we are at the games. It's a lot of fun. I've actually, like, I met my girlfriend through this. I let, met friends through it. It's not, like, a sad, lonely person sitting in their room on their own. If it wasn't for that social aspect, if it was just me collecting games on my own, um, you know, I probably wouldn't have the collection I have. I'm, I'm a bit, bit of a hoarder as well. Now, I wouldn't be... I know one collector, he... Like we always joke because he has at least two of everything. But uh, if I have multiples of stuff, I would sell them. But um, I just couldn't let them go. Even the games I hate, like there's one game that they always slag me off, The Legend of Dragoon, I absolutely hate it. It almost put, it was so bad, it almost put me off video games, but even I couldn't even let that, go, <laughs> that one go. <laughs> but yeah, it's, uh, it is a kind of a hobby I can get out of hands. <laughs> and especially like uh, at the moment, I don't have much money. You've got to really say, right, like, I, you know, picked up a couple of games off eBay. I'm not going to do any car boot sales or eBay for, you know, a month or two. I haven't spent that much. Most I've spent in Aiden, though, was the arcade machine, definitely. That cost me about a thousand euros to get over here, so then I broke it, like, two weeks later. So, uh, that's fun. You, you don't think you're going to buy anything, and then you, you 
take a look on eBay and you see something that you want and you've got the bug again. Then there's always the feeling of, right, how am I going to, you know, how am I going to pay for this? <laughs> I'm kind of running out of space at the moment where to put them and, like, uh, I've, it's really bad for jobs here, so I'm living with my parents and, like, it, it does their head in. My mother's always going mad when, um, when games come in the door. What I have to do now is, if I beat a game, I put it in the attic, um, which is not, like, a, hopefully I get a job soon. Like, I have a PhD in chemistry and I can't get a job with that, and I'm doing programming and game design at the moment. I'm hopefully to get, get something out, out of that. So, yeah, the, the plan is get my own um, house so I can actually have room to put all this stuff in. I have two kids and, you know, they're not too much into the game, so I wouldn't be in here every night. As it is, I gotta say, right, you know, I'm a daddy, so I've gotta, you know, make sure I look after them. And then if they're asleep and there's time and there's something else going on, I can pop in here and play a couple of games or get a couple of games ready to trade with someone or whatever, you know. So it's a, it's a balancing act and you gotta be really careful, you know. Um, like all hobbies, you gotta say, right, you know, when do we work, when do we do my hobby? So it's a, it's tricky, but hopefully I'm pulling it off. I've never gone, like, uh been bankrupt by or had no money because because of this hobby um so i think i kind of have it under control anyway if you know was ever if it was ever a financial problem with myself and the wife and you know we had to get something for the kids i mean that would automatically overrule all this i'd love to be able to give these games to my son uh, and my daughter as well if she develops an interest in games uh, and say look these are yours go play with them you know so uh, there's always the thought of keeping them for that but at the end of the day as i said my family first so if it ever came to it was ever god forbid a really really bad financial problem these would be the first things to go. It doesn't take a whole of any other aspect of my life. It's not like uh, there's, I can't go to sleep if I don't have a certain game or things like that. It's like I have a fairly healthy life apart from, like, not apart from that, but including that. It's something that I'm kind of known for and I enjoy doing. You're not going to be able to change my mind and I'm not going to change yours. Like, this is what I enjoy. If you don't like it, tough. <laughs> It's my, it's my hobby, it's my thing. I mean, some people are into collecting classic cars. Some people, you know, like going to the shed and brewing, doing homebrew or whatever, you know. For me, it's it's saying, look, I like, I, you know, I like the thrill of actually, you know, picking up a game somewhere, collecting it and, you know, having it here that I can I can look at. But yeah, it is a bit, it is a bit weird. <laughs> even, even I'll admit that. <laughs>